I teach a core abdominal class every week on a Thursday morning at Tri Yoga in Chelsea in London. And I have a series of seven cores that we regularly do, which I'm going to show you now. So, seven cores. If you are post cesarean or menstruating, then please follow the instructions given. And uh, if you have a lower back issue, also please build the strength up gently. So, the seven cores. Tuning in with Ong Namo, Guru Dev Namo, three times. You then warm up. So, I think for me the best warm up is cat cow. So, inhaling, dropping the spine, pulling back the shoulders, lengthening the neck, tucking the tail in, and pushing up, tucking in the chin. Inhaling, dropping the spine. Pulling back the shoulders, tucking in the tail, pushing up, inhaling and exhaling and relaxing back and then stretching, inhaling and exhaling. So really beginning to stretch out the core. First posture, each one is held for a minute with breath of fire. There are no um, changes to the first posture. First posture is locust, breath of fire. It's for a minute, so powerfully pumping. If you find you lose your ability to hold the posture, bring your hands back here and then come back here. Powerful posture, very, very powerful posture, affecting the kidneys, the spinal muscles, taking responsibility for the self, massaging the internal organs, particularly the liver, stimulating the third chakra. Second posture, number two, is plank on your elbows. So ideally I'm completely on the mat, on the elbows, so plank with breath of fire. If you haven't got a very strong back, if you're menstruating or post cesarean, be on your knees, but be straight here. So breath of fire, head is, head is looking at your fingertips. You're not dropped like that. You're looking at your fingertips for a minute. And relax down after pulling the root lock. Next posture, number three, is with your elbows straight. If you're postnatal or menstruating, you go on your knees and it's, this part is straight. And if you're up and ready for it, again, the head isn't dropped, the head is straight. Breath of fire. And when you get to the end, hold the breath, pull the locks. And take a moment. That's number three. Number four is side plank. If you're new or not feeling so robust, you're on your knees doing breath of fire. If you're feeling a bit more robust, you're on your elbow and you're pushed up, breath of fire. And if you're feeling really robust, then you're with your elbow straight and you find that point and you do breath of fire. You do 40 seconds per side because that's very, very strong. That's for your waist. Um, that's for all of the core. It's a fantastically strong posture. And the two planks, the ones I showed you on the elbow and on the straight arms, this is the thymus, the thyroid. This is very much natural antidepressant, which is not me saying stop taking antidepressants, but very, very powerfully strengthening and holding the whole of the core of the body. From here, uh, I don't think I said, I have birds in the room. So I have canaries and finches, which is what you can hear doing their early morning routine. Back platform. There are no contraindications for back platform. And obviously none of this is suitable if you're pregnant. Back platform is heart opening, detoxifying, kidney massaging, 
anti-anxiety. Push up, head back, breath of fire. For a minute, oh, afterwards it's wonderful. And with each of these postures, they're very strong. They are very strong postures, and it might take you time to build up to them, but you will notice that afterwards you get a kind of, like a massive whop of, it can be a headache or it can be a sense of detox. Very quickly, energy moving through the body. So that was um, one, two, three, four, five. That was number six. And the seventh is the glorious stretch pose. Looking at your toes, hands over your hips, deflecting the fire back into the body. Look at the toes, breath of fire. And when you get to the end, hold the breath, pull the locks and exhale. So the purpose of stretch pose is to straighten up the nervous system as it meets down the front of the body. So the eye open thing is really interesting, it's really important. And you may find that your shoulders hurt. The more you stretch out, which is why it's called stretch pose, the more you'll um, balance that ache in the shoulders. If you're postnatal or menstruating and post cesarean, then you do one leg at a time. You just switch legs and take some of the pressure off the lower belly and the back. So that's the cause, the seven cause. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>